I'm dreaming day or night On my darkest fears are coming outside We got a billion races We got his melody Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel I'm Holly Golightly and this is Perfume Vegas I'm wearing this dress And I didn't realize it would be cut off I thought it came up higher But the straps aren't adjustable Anyway I didn't really think I was going to be filming today either so I kind of look a little bit like a hot mess. Forgive me. I have something that I didn't think I was going to be showing you on my channel for a while. But here it is, back again. My April Scent Bird unboxing. It's not really an unboxing because I've already, like, smelled and tried all these fragrances. I wanted to be able to talk to you a little bit about them. But... I'm going to go over what I got with you and let you know my thoughts. So I have four fragrances this month. I did sign up again for the three fragrances subscription. And then I was given a bonus fourth fragrance for resubscribing. So the bonus fragrance was Illuminaire by Vince Camuto. And this is actually my first Vince Camuto fragrance that I tried um it's just it hasn't been a brand that really ever excited me or really made me feel like i wanted to get something but i thought that the bottle looks really pretty and the notes sounded interesting it's plum blossom bergamot magnolia and cedarwood are their call out notes um, so I figured if I'm going to resubscribe, I might as well do it when I'm going to get a free perfume that sounds like something I will like. So anyway, there's the bottle again. It says plum blossoms and bright bergamot radiate with luminosity and magnetic energy in this floral fragrance. Plum blossom, bergamot, magnolia, and cedar wood. So forgive my, my little strips. I don't know what I did with, they're right over there. I looked and they were right there. I like this. I actually really like this scent. I don't know what the price point of a full bottle of this is. If it were on a discount website for a fairly good price, I would consider adding it to my collection because it's a beautiful bottle and I do like this fragrance. It's not anything unique or special. It's just a sweet floral, citrusy sweet floral with a nice creamy sandalwood very simple, not anything extremely wild or crazy. The longevity on this is mild. It doesn't really last too long um, on me. I think I got about four hours and I don't know if this is, it is an eau de parfum it says, but um, yeah, it, there, it's nothing to write home about, but it's a nice fragrance. So Illuminaire by Vince Camuto, if Camuto, 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 so if you're in the market for something like this, if you can give it a try or if you see it for a good price, yeah, it's a nice scent. I think this is a pretty, pretty easy going fragrance that would be a very safe blind buy, especially if you know that you like magnolia and cedar. So there you go. This was my bonus. It was free. I'm not mad at it at all. So the ones that I picked out for my um, my subscription this month, I decided to get two that had been in my, um, my queue before I canceled. I picked a few of those up. And then I did decide to get one that I think it was a limited edition or limited stock. Um, but it's a fragrance that has been on my radar and I'm not kidding you when I say this fragrance has been on my radar for probably 15 years and I never smelled it before. <laughs> That's how it was. So anyway, the first one that I picked up that wasn't in my queue before because they didn't have this brand when I was subscribed previously is Hermetica. 
the brand is Hermetica and the fragrance is called Amber B. So it looks like this. It's a beautiful golden amber color juice. And it's, it does, it is, damn it. I was hoping that my opinion would be different. This is like the third time I've sprayed it and I'm coming to the same conclusion every single time. But let me read to you about um, Amber Bee from Hermetica. It says, revered since ancient times, amber is a rich, luminous, and golden material. This luxurious resin gives amber bee sweet and velvety facets, while honey eliminate, honey eliminates, honey elements wrap the fragrance in a delicate manner. Amber bee is brightened by bergamot essence and warmed by sweet powder wood molecule. And then the call-out notes are bergamot essence, amber molecule, and sweet powder wood molecule. This is a clean brand, so if you are looking for something that's cruelty-free, this is a clean brand. Um, you also have a promo code here. Um, I'll put it down there. I'll put the promo code down below, but it's receive exclusive offer of 10% off your purchase of $100 or more at Hermetica.com with code SENTBIRD10. Valid only at Hermetica.com on orders of $100 plus. Offer expires September 30th, 2021. See Hermetica.com for full terms and conditions. One per customer. So, sounds like it's a reusable code, but only one person. You can, you can only use it one time. Unfortunately, I will not be buying Amber B. This is a really nice scent. It smells great. But, but but smells exactly like a Bath and Body Works perfume. Which one? I'm not sure. It could be um, A Thousand Wishes. It could be In the Stars. It could be... Um, there was one that came out that I didn't bother getting... It smells exactly like Bath and Body Works perfume. I tried it on paper and I was like, oh, Bath and Body Works. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and try on my skin. Try it on my skin, I'm like, oh, Bath and Body Works. So I, now I'm trying on paper again and it still smells like Bath and Body Works to me. It's, I will wear this. I'm going to wear the crap out of this. It is an eau de parfum and it does have a really good lasting power, which is not surprising because we do have like aroma molecules in here instead of natural ingredients, but picked. <laughs> this smells exactly like Bath and Body Works. I have a couple of other Hermetica fragrances in my queue, so I'm going to be interested in trying those and seeing how they smell, but I will say this. This smells great. This smells beautiful. It lasts a long time. It does have really good lasting power on the skin. The projection in Siage is a little bit less so. It's very mild, but you aren't going to be sad. Like, you're not going to get this and think you smell bad because you don't. You smell very pretty. Very pretty. Just like Bath & Body Works. Like a regular Bath & Body Works smell. I don't know what it is. It is Bath & Body Works, though. So. I don't know. It's really pretty, but it's like, Wow. So the next one is from a house that I have several of the Scentbird decants now. Um, I went to go buy a full bottle of them. I want to say, I don't know, it was like quite a few months ago, probably before the new year. Um, I went to go buy a full bottle and I don't think the, the site that I was looking at was shipping to the U.S., um, I wanted to buy Holly Rose, which I, oh, have the decant before I've shown it before. Um, and I don't think they were shipping to the U S or if they were, it was like extraordinarily expensive. Um, but I really like this house. It's room 1015. And this month I have the fragrance cherry punk. Cherry punk. These bottles, like these little cases got tight, man. So Cherry Punk is a cherry fragrance, obviously. It says that from underground clubs to national TV, punk always had its own style, its own press, and fanzines. 
and its own movies, its own poetry, and so on and so forth. So we figured it should have its own fragrance. Loud like the rehearsal in the room without sound isolation. It ends there. <laughs> so the scent notes that are called out are cherry, saffron, Sichuan pepper, violet, and black leather. That is like a loud combination. This one I have not worn on my skin yet, so I can't really talk to... Uh, talk too much about how it how it acts on the skin, but <sighs> bitch! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is exactly the kind of spicy, rich, leathery cherry scent that I'm into right now. Like, oh. <laughs> I have another per perfume on, so I can't spray it on me, like another very loud perfume on. Oh my god, this is so good. I have loved everything I've tried from the house, like some, of course, more than others, but this is probably up there with Holly Rose as my favorite so far that I've tried. This is Cherry Punk from Room 1015. Um, yeah, you can go to their website. They have a website, room1015.com. And I think that that was where it was, like, really expensive because I'm pretty sure the brand itself comes out of the UK or um, over, like, in Europe somewhere. So I think it comes out of the UK. Wow. Their fragrances are so good. I've loved everything I've tried from this brand. This is not, this is no exception. Holy crap. That is amazing smells so good so anyway that was room 1015 cherry punk and then the last one that i'm just like ugh, come on now i have is from a brand this i'm telling you right now i this was released a long ass time ago these came out a long this this fragrance was a long ago let me i'm just gonna look Okay, I just looked it up, and I guess I was... <laughs> I, it feels like it's been a long time. This fragrance was released in 2014, and I noticed it in 2014 because it was, like, quite a splashy release. Um, and it is considered a celebrity fragrance, but it is also very, very, very high-end. So what perfume am I talking about, you may ask yourself. Diana Vreeland, Simply Divine. So Diana Vreeland was the editor of Harper's Bazaar for like ages. And I, that's like the Bible, right? We all know. Um, and so when this line of perfumes came out, like it was noticed, like it was written about in fashion magazines and Simply Divine has been one of the best sellers for the line since its release. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. This has been on my to, to get list for so long but it is quite expensive. Um, it's a white floral. There's really not a lot of other things going on here. It's just a very straightforward right white floral with like a green and slightly ambery base. Um, <clears throat> let's see what it says. Simply Divine is expi expired. Expired. <laughs> Simply Divine is inspired by the great love that Miss Vreeland had in her. Simply, oh my God. Simply Divine is inspired by the great love that Miss Vreeland and her husband Reed shared for over forty years, and has been the collection's best-selling fragrance globally. This feminine scent honors the exceptional beauty and luminous expression of the iconic tuberose flower, with lush orange flower and jasmine swathed in sandalwood. The call-out notes are tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine, and sandalwood. And that's, it's, yeah, it's just a very straightforward white floral. It is not overly indolic or heavy. Um, I thought about including this in my summer white floral scent, but I do think it's a little bit much for like a very hot summer. It might be too much, maybe for a summer night, but yeah, it's a little bit on the more rich 
white floral side. It, obviously, you would want it to be because you want to get your money's worth. Um, the retail value of this is like $175. There you go, US. But it's so good. I really like this. Now, after smelling the fragrance, I don't know if I would buy the full bottle. But the collection itself has a lot of amazing scents. And there are more than this one on um, Scentbird right now. This is just the one I had wanted, and so it's the one I picked up. But, yeah, I... That's how I get reeled back in. Like, freaking Scentbird. What have they done? They made their little things, like, so difficult. This is how I get reeled back in, because they have fragrances that I really want to try and it's really much more cost effective than to buy a decant from like a decant website or something. So that last one was Simply Divine from Diana Vreeland. Just a beautiful creamy white floral fragrance. One that maybe not for everybody might be a little bit headache inducing but is definitely going to um, it, it, white floral lovers will enjoy that for sure. So that was my scent bird for April. I know it's May when you're seeing this. I got this fairly late in the month. I think I got it about April 27th. Um, and then I just didn't get around to filming the scents because I wanted to try them on the skin. Oh, the Diana Freeland one, the uh, Simply Divine. It, it's not great lasting power either, which is another reason why I'm glad that I did the sample and never did purchase a full bottle because, yeah, it doesn't have like a whole lot of lasting power or projections. So there you go. Um, that was this month's scent bird. I will be seeing you next month with another scent bird subscription video. Um, I'm excited about the ones I have coming for this month. So yeah, if you enjoy this type of video, whether it's unboxings or talking about new fragrances, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have tried any of these fragrances, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you think about them. Um, if you would be interested in any type of comparison videos or house videos, if I have like a collection of scents from a certain house, even if they're decants, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here in Vegas, Perfume Vegas with me. Notifications, you know the drill. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!